Really quick, if you want to jump straight to the lesson and skip this introduction, go ahead and navigate to the time you see on the screen right now, or by using the timestamps below. Call me crazy, but Horizon Worlds might just be the most fun that I've had in VR. And I say that having absolutely loved experiences like Half-Life Alex, Demio, No Man's Sky, and dozens of other fantastic VR apps. Meta Pitch's Worlds is a social platform, but for me personally, the fun part isn't in the social aspects. It's in the creative side of Horizon Worlds. You can build an entire video game from scratch using some very intuitive building controls and a visual scripty language that lets you create nearly anything you can imagine. And for me, a self-proclaimed creative who is lucky enough to work in a creative industry, there is nothing more exciting than creative potential. But when I was teaching myself how to build things in Horizon Worlds, the biggest challenge that I had was exactly that trying to figure out how to build things in Horizon Worlds. There's some content from Meta directly, and there's a handful of creator content, but for the most part, I found it difficult to go from being a beginner to knowing even the basic tools. So I wanted to make the series that I wish I had when I was first learning how to use Horizon Worlds. To get started, we're going to learn how to start a brand new world, enter build mode, move around in build mode, and return to preview mode. Next, we're going to learn how to move UI panels in build mode, because trust me, learning proper menu management now will be way more efficient later on when you're juggling multiple menus across multiple objects. We'll also look over some important system settings at the end of the video that will be helpful to know as you move through this series. First things first, we'll start on the main menu of Horizon Worlds. Click the fourth icon here, that little square and circle symbol, to open up the Create World panel. If you scroll around in this menu, you're going to see a few template worlds to pick from, or you can start from a completely blank world. I'm going to go ahead and select this template here, just so everything isn't an empty white void for this whole video. So once you've entered your world, you're going to be able to run around as you would in any Horizon Worlds level. But if you look at your hands here, you'll notice this symbol on your right hand. That is build mode. To hit the button, just tilt your joystick down and release, and here I am in build mode. Now, moving around here is a bit different than moving around as a player. To move, you're just gonna reach out either of your hands, squeeze the grip finger, and move your hand around. As you can see, you can drag your hand around to move yourself in any direction. So if you wanted to move in a straight line, just use your hands to essentially crawl your way to your destination. If you want to move faster, that is where the zoom function comes into play. To zoom in and out, simply grab the space in front of you with both of your hands, and then bring your hands towards and away from each other. You'll see the value of your zoom level represented by this number here that is attached between your two hands. Doing this will change the size of your avatar and therefore affect how large the world appears around you. So when you want to move around faster, just zoom out, crawl in larger intervals, and then zoom back down to the size that you want to be building in. I recommend practicing moving around like this for a few minutes. It's not really hard, but it does take a little bit of getting used to to do it efficiently. Note that when you are using both grip triggers to zoom in and out, you can alternatively rotate your hands more like they're on the steering wheel of a bus. This will rotate the world around you, meaning you don't have to spin around in real life to see something behind you. Next, take a look at your hands really quick. If you just rest your thumbs on the joysticks without pushing in any direction, the labels for all of these controls will appear. We're going to go over the specifics of each one of these tools starting in the next video, but for now we want to re-enter preview mode. So if you look at your left hand, I see preview mode here, and if you just tilt your thumbstick forward and release, I'll pop back into the world as a player. As simple as this act seems, it's actually incredibly powerful to be able to jump back and forth between preview mode and build mode. It essentially means that you can be building something and within seconds, jump back into preview mode to test that thing from the perspective of a player. By hopping back and forth between build mode and preview mode, you can design, prototype, and iterate anything you are creating in effectively real time. One last important feature is that when you're in build mode, instead of just tapping on the preview button, you can push and hold the preview button. That will allow you to aim anywhere you want in your level, release, and you'll end up spawning your player avatar at the point in which you are aiming within build mode. That means I can spawn anywhere in my world as a player, regardless of where I've placed my spawn point. Speaking of spawn point, something you may have noticed if you're not aiming at a particular location to go back into preview mode is that your player avatar will spawn wherever you've placed this player spawn point here. 
When you're in build mode, you can grab that spawn point and put it anywhere you want. In the future, we're gonna use these objects to set spawn points for players, but for now, just put it wherever makes the most sense for you as a builder. Next, let's look at how to move around UI panels within build mode. So I'll start in build mode, then click the menu button on my left controller to open the build menu. By clicking this button, you can open and close the panel whenever you need it. This is effectively your painter's palette within Horizon Worlds, and it's where you're gonna find everything you need to build your world. We're gonna go over what all of this does starting in the next video, but for now, just pay attention to how you can move this menu around. The easiest way to move the build menu around is to simply click and hold the menu button. This is going to attach the build menu UI to your hand, letting you position it wherever you want. Keep in mind that this menu is effectively attached to your build mode avatar. So whether you open or close the menu, move around the level, change modes, or whatever else, this menu will remain next to you in the orientation that you set. Holding your menu button like this works great for the build menu, but that method only works for the build menu. There are two other methods of moving around UI panels within build mode, and these methods work on any UI panel within build mode. The first is to simply reach out and grab it. You're gonna notice this yellow box appear around the menu when your selector is in the correct space. And now I can move the menu around with a ton of flexibility and I can put UI panels in any orientation. The last way to move a menu around is from a short distance, point at it with your hands. The correct place to grab a menu in this way is to find that gray selection box that appears at the top of the panel and squeeze and hold your trigger to grab it. Now you can effectively move that panel around freely and release the trigger when you have placed it wherever you want. You might have noticed that when you grab a UI panel in this way, the controls on the hand you grabbed it with will change. These controls let you push a panel away from you or pull it towards you, or you can increase and decrease the size of that panel. So using all of these options will let you organize your build controls however you want with a ton of flexibility. There is no right or wrong way to keep things organized. You should just truly feel free to move things around at your convenience. But as we go through this series, I will show you some of my best practices and the ways that I like to keep things organized within Horizon Worlds. To wrap up this first lesson, there's a couple things I wanna point out in the settings menu. A quick word of caution before we do, if you're already prone to nausea inside of VR, the following settings will likely make things worse for you. If you're one of those people, no worries, just skip the next section and you can move on to the next video. But if you're like me, you're able to run around in VR without any motion sickness issues, and I personally want things to be as immersive as possible. So first, start off in preview mode as your avatar and hit the left menu button. The Horizon Worlds menu should pop up, and you can hit the little gear icon at the far right of the navigation menu. Then just tap gameplay here at the top, and here you can adjust your movement settings. Personally, I want as much flexibility and freedom as possible, so I've set my movement style to slide. This lets me move around smoothly as opposed to having to point in a direction and teleport like you do with the teleport movement setting. I also have smooth rotation turned on and the motion option set rather than instant. This lets me spin around smoothly as well. Lastly, I have comfort assistance off as well as the situational comfort assistance options set to off near the bottom here. That's it for the player settings, so now close the Horizon Worlds menu by clicking your left menu button again, and re-enter build mode by tilting down on the right thumbstick. Open your build menu once again by clicking the left menu button, and navigate to the gear icon in this menu to access the build mode settings. At the top, you can change your dominant hand from right to left if you're a left-handed person. Just a note, if you do end up doing this, you're gonna need to mentally flip which hand I mention moving forward in the series, as I am right-handed. After you're happy with that setting, click the comfort button here at the left. Here I can change my comfort assistance to none. Again, only do this if you have no issues with motion sickness. For me, I experienced a little bit of nausea when I first removed all of the comfort assistance settings, but I got used to it quickly and now I have no issues whatsoever. So give it a shot, take frequent breaks if you need to, and you should be able to handle these motion settings without issue. Congrats, you're awesome. You now know how to build a new world, Enter and move around in build mode and preview mode. You know how to move around UI panels and you've learned some really great system settings to help you while you build. In the next lesson, we're going to go over how to build your first object and learn some great building tools along the way. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.